to invite Pete Sater home to come and share with us something very special. The first slide you're going to see is a slide of Jerry Sumo. He's the principal of the St. Matthews United Methodist High School in Logantown and our chief motivator to build the clinic at this school. That is him on the school grounds. My, my plan is to talk to you about the current status of the clinic. But as I talk, I would like you to look at the slides. My talk and the slides are not coordinated other than they are both about the clinic. Each slide has a title, and so this should explain what you are looking at. I want to talk to you about my week, long trip to Liberia a couple of weeks ago. I went to Liberia with three purposes in mind. First, to visit the clinic that we have been involved with since 2012. We sent VIN teams there in 2012 and 2014. Second, I went to attend a large roundtable meeting with the Liberian bishop and his staff and other groups of, you know, from around a multitude of countries supporting their efforts. And third, to explore other potential opportunities for our congregation to be in mission in Liberia when our work in Logantown slows down. This morning, I will only talk about the clinic. The other topics will be explored later. Concerning the clinic, let me start by saying that we are, and our fellow Methodists in Logantown, did a very nice job on constructing the clinic. It is well built. It is well planned. It is nicely painted. It has a ceramic tile floor, and so it is very clean. All the rooms have a specific function, and that function is being performed in that room. Each is equipped correctly to perform its function. It is appropriately staffed with individuals who know what they are to do, and they do it. A trained nurse is the OIC or overall manager. She can access a doctor or a midwife when needed. When a patient arrives at the clinic, they enter via the front porch. Here they are met by a person who takes their vital signs and that's where they register. Dependent on their issue, they go on to the nursing assistant a physician's assistant, or a lab technician, or maybe all three. Eventually, the nurse will determine what needs to be done to them. Some treatment can be done on premises. Drugs can be distributed by the pharmacist. A business manager will assure that all the records are completed and payment collected. I do not know how many people use the facility every day, but they have done, they have gone to being open 24 hours a day, seven days a week. I was at the clinic three times over the week and, and patients were on the porch each time or being treated in one of the rooms. I was also treated while there for some burns on my hand. Excuse me. They did a wonderful job. I did ask and was told that they deliver about three babies a month. The midwife comes in to the clinic for the prenatal classes for the expected mothers. It is possible that our work on the clinic is completed and that they will be self-sufficient. I asked several times about unsatisfied needs, and only minor items were expressed. Those were centered on the lab, which may be asked to do more than just identify malaria, typhoid, 
sugar in the blood, and funguses. This will require some additional equipment, but no specific requirement has yet been made. But if they, if they need help, I would think we could address that at the time. Right now, they have a beautiful and functioning clinic in an area where none exists. Praise God. <laughs>